Hey, in today's video, I want to tell you about one of my favorite ornamental trees that grows in tropical, subtropical regions. It is called commonly the Royal Point Sienna or the flamboyant tree. Uh, here's a video of a very small, young uh, Point Sienna. Now, you'll notice that it just is in its green uh, state with no flowers. This tree will get gigantic red flowers all over it. There's also a more rare variety that gets yellow flowers on it. But I wanted to make a video of how this tree looks without the flowers on it. Now, this is at the very end of uh, the season for it. This is right around October in Florida. And you can see it's loaded with leaves. And it almost does have that fern look. Uh, what you can't really see too well here is that it does have some thorns in it. That you want to be careful of but it creates a beautiful canopy I mean look at how this these leaves just filter out the sunlight in the middle of the day here in Florida it's a beautiful low but you can really train it to grow low to the ground and uh, and be an excellent ornamental tree for your front yard uh, another thing I'd point out is that this tree grows very well in sandy soils doesn't like hard packed clay soils, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's very easy to grow from seed. Now some people do grow them from cuttings. I've grown them from seed. And I know I have friends that say they like to cut the seed or create a, like score the outside of the seed, soak it in water overnight, and then plant it. They have a higher success rate with that. I think that'll work. I think you can just plant it in kind of soil that you keep wet and that'll work as well. You see the lighter color of the leaves that are growing towards the uh, the new growth, which I think is really cool to look at. Now, uh, in the drought conditions, they do claim they do tend to uh, drop some some leaves. This has been a pretty wet summer here in Florida, so it was well watered. And uh, another stunning feature I think of this tree is the bark. Now, here's a close up of what the bark looks like. It kind of has a multicolored um, look to it. And as I pan down to the bottom of the tree, uh, you can notice that it also has kind of a defined root structure at its base. And this can get more significant as it gets older. You have to be careful weed whacking around this tree. If you weed whack too much, it'll damage. You can see there to the left, there's a little spot where it has been damaged, it looks like, by some kind of weed whacking. That's unfortunate. Not good for the tree. Uh, and here's another real close up of what the bark looks like. I think it's just an excellent. Uh, looking looking tree, especially with the bark. Now here's a very young tree, but you can see they've really promoted this one to grow low to the ground. You can do this, where you just trim off any growth that trims up tall and let it grow real low to the ground. I think that's a super interesting look to it. You see this one large branch, it just goes very low. Um, really interesting, but it will take up a lot of space, obviously, if you decide to grow it that way. There's another look, and you, know, you get the same kind of structure growing out to the right. This is growing in a parking lot and uh, over an island. I think this is a great way to grow it. Of course, when it gets to close to where the cars are, they'll have to promote its upward growth eventually, I think. Now, here's one. I, the reason I show this is because now these are all over Florida, uh, the poinciana trees. So not hard to get a lot of video of them. But they've grown this as a multi-trunk tree, and they've trained it up instead of out. You know, they've let it... They've trained it so that it will grow up, and promoted a lot of different, uh, a lot of different branches growing up as opposed to out. And I like that look a lot. Even with it growing up, it spreads out once it gets taller and just grows to be a really wide tree. Here's an example of what a full-size tree looks like, and uh, you can see it's just gigantic, just gigantic. No shortage of trimming to be done on this, but. It's really actually a very easy tree to trim, and it seems to really like to be trimmed. This one could easily grow out beyond the edge of the road if it were allowed to. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thanks for watching.